Good Monday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Home Office Backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with our latest edition of our podcast involving astronomy called Skyblog 3. If you have any questions, suggestions, if you've got any great pictures out there you'd like to share with us, please send them along to me at Twitter at aonic underscore WREG3 or at my email address at austin.onic at WREG.com. For tonight, not that much, again, in the way of satellite flyovers, but some good astronomical viewing in the course of the next few days, minus the fact that we have some clouds and rainfall heading our direction as we go into tomorrow night. So for tonight, sky gazing, not doing too bad, but again, better opportunities will await us in the course of the near future. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Tonight's satellite flyovers does not amount to much. We don't have much of anything visible in the night sky. Very dim viewing opportunities at this point. A light amount of satellites out there. The brightest that you see here are going to be very dim and very difficult to spot with the naked eye. You'll have to be using binoculars and you'll be having to look in exactly the right place, which is going to be kind of difficult, again, for standing outdoors for a little bit. You might catch a few Leonid meteors left over from the last couple of nights. But other than that, not that much going on for this evening. Tomorrow morning, station Tiangong-1, the abandoned Chinese space station, which will be coming back to Earth relatively soon, but it's not an imminent threat to anybody. You'll be seeing that, again, fairly dim in the early morning skies just before about 5 o'clock in the morning, which is now the good opportunity time to get up and see these satellites. But a very good opportunity to see the International Space Station will be coming through tomorrow morning. It's going to be difficult not to see it, depending on how the clouds are doing out there. And you can see it between the last quarter moon and the planet Jupiter in the constellation of Corvus the Crow. It's going to be coming into view in the southeast skies at about 4.48 in the morning and dropping on down to the southeastern skies. And again, fading into the sunlight view as the sunrise comes up over the horizon. Hopefully remaining clear, but there are a few clouds out there tonight, so it might be a little difficult to spot in the morning depending on how the clouds shape up. But a brilliant shot as this will be very bright to see if the skies are clear. And again, heading into sunrise into tomorrow morning, that's where we'll be able to see that. Last quarter moon is visible right now. And again, rising in the southeastern skies as we go into tonight and early tomorrow morning should be able to be seen quite easily. And over the course of the next couple of evenings, it'll be leaving the constellation of Leo the Lion, very close to the star Regulus in the lion's front paw for the constellation there. And over the next couple of mornings, we'll be moving on through constellation of Virgo, very close to around the planet Jupiter, and then dropping on down as it goes toward its waning crescent phase, getting a little bit closer to around the horizon, around sunrise, as it gets closer to the new moon phase out there. So something to take a look at there. Also very visible in the skies over the next several nights and weeks is going to be one of my favorite constellations, Orion the Hunter. Very easy to spot with those three stars on the belt and a great target opportunity to try to see through a telescope, the Orion Nebula. It's beautiful if you've seen it through a telescope and a great opportunity to see the bright stars Betelgeuse and Rigel. A uh, good opportunity to see that. And of course Sirius in the lower left hand corner of the area there which is where you may see that into the night skies coming up. Again, some amateur stargazing possible out across uh, much of the area. And the moon and Jupiter, again, off going to be seen uh, in the night skies as you go toward Dawn Patrol early in the mornings as the moon gets closer toward new moon phase. Heading into this weekend, looking to get outside and do some astronomical viewing. Definitely want to go outside and see what you can do to get a view of the Andromeda Galaxy. That's also a good stargazing target for a telescope. If you've not had a chance to see that, want to get out and get some fresh air away from the Thanksgiving family reunions and things like that, good opportunity to see that. But remember, we also have more clouds coming in this weekend, so it might be kind of difficult to see as we get into the weekend hours with more clouds and rainfall approaching as we close out the Thanksgiving Day holiday. Want to know more about what's going on in the skies? Keep it tuned to Skyblog 3 and keep it tuned to these social media networks and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on in the night sky across the Mid-South area and beyond any major astronomical events out there. We'll let you know about that as we go throughout the next several days and weeks and into and through the Thanksgiving Day holiday. Again, any questions, concerns, ideas about what you would like to see on here, please let me know. I would love to know more about that at austin.onic at wreg.com. Astronomy, a very big hobby of mine, amateur astronomer for a very long period of time, and all it takes is just an old telescope that's in good shape or a pair of binoculars or just your 
regular eyes, taking a look out around the stars and seeing what's out there and getting your uh, family out there to take a look and see what's happening. So good opportunity to practice a little bit of science on a local level and by getting outdoors and taking a look to see what is happening. Again, should be good viewing for most of the area tonight. We've got, again, a few clouds drifting on through, but otherwise not doing too badly. No rain in sight at this point, but we will be looking for more chances of rainfall the closer we get into around Wednesday, where there will be the chance of some showers and thunderstorms. For more updates on the weather forecast, check out my video weather blog, Weather Overtime. That's available at wreg.com slash weather and on all those social media networks that you saw as well. Live and direct from the House Onik backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of Skyblog 3, our astronomy podcast for information about what's going on in Mid-South Skies. Remember, when it comes to science or astronomy, always keep looking up.